Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got two little parcels through the letterbox and they did both fit through the letterbox as well, which was good because I didn't have to go running to answer the door. Yay, always a bonus. Right, so which one shall we have a look at first? Let's have a look at the white one first. Pop that one out of the way. Okay, so this one whoops, is a little box. And it's from uh, createandcraft.tv. Um, I am a club member. I've been a club member for, gosh, since it began in 2006, seven. I can't remember when it was. So a long time. Um, and each month, or just about each month, they have um, what they call it. A member's gift and all you do is pay £2.99 postage and that's all you pay for it and this month is actually a diamond painting set and it's from craft buddy crystal art and let's get into this little box and have a look at what we got i thought it was quite sweet so we have three crystal art stickers so we've got oops a, we've got a star and it's just got a clear cover on the top and it's just the star that you can see with the uh, little circles on that you put your gems on and the rest of it uh, isn't diamond painted and then it is actually oops, a sticker okay so your sticker peels off your back in there and it gets stuck we have a bow which is pretty a red bow with a blue snowflakey background, which is very Christmassy. And then we have a snowflake with a blue background. So that's really pretty. Uh, that one really, I mean, it's a star and it's come as like a Christmas set, but you could use that for anything. You know, the star, congratulations, well done. You're a star, uh, birthdays, anything like that. So that's quite a generic one. And then you also get three MDF little baubles to put them on okay. and three little pieces of string let me get the string out so it's like a nice rustic looking string there to just put your baubles on and three very thin MDF baubles so you'll diamond paint your little uh, round sticker there and then it will just fit onto one side of your bauble. Okay, so it just makes them single-sided. Uh, you could use them as gift tags. You don't need to put them on the tree. I think really I'd want to decorate both sides. I think I'd have to put something else, even if I just painted the back, maybe in the colours to match this. Nice Christmassy red or something, or use your spare gems um, to put something on the back rather than just being single-sided. But yeah, for 2 99 it's a nice little project. Um, let's see what size we are. So, these are the baubles. So they are a seven and a bit centimeters, which is just under three inches round. And then from the top of it, it's eight centimeters, which is three and a half inches. So quite a nice size, you know. They're, they're very nice and light as well, actually. So you could use them in an aperture in a card um, or you could use them as like a say a gift tag. Uh, I quite often now because I put a lot of my Christmas presents in bags rather than just wrapping them up in wrapping paper because I'm apt to pick them up and put my fingers through the wrapping paper. Uh, so I tend to put them in a bag and then put an extra little decoration on the bag so people can use that year after year um, rather than just using it once. So that's your stickers. Uh, we've got a nice little tool kit, uh, enough to do it, uh, do your project. You've got your wax, your boat, quite a few, what's that, about four or five little grip seal bags and your pink pen. Okay, and then we have an instruction leaflet, which they do tend to make it a little bit more professional, I think, uh, craft buddy crystal art. They, they do tend to just go that extra mile. So you've got your pictures there showing you what they'll look like. Um, showing you with the tags on as well and the bows on uh, we've got all your social media on the bottom there facebook instagram um, youtube and pinterest and the website and then 
it shows you how to diamond paint on the other side as well it shows you what you get in your bag and how to actually do it so if you wanted to give this as a little gift for somebody then you know they've got all the instructions there and it's a nice little project to start off and do um, and it's something like that that will get people hooked because once they've seen it done they will <laughs> really want to carry on okay so the gems are resin gems from craft pudding and we've got pink and red and orange and burgundy some nice blues a rosy pink a lovely white and then oh look at that a b coated silver wow that's really really sparkly i like that one i mean you could actually just substitute any of these colors out and do them all in crystals if you've got spare crystals i think that's possibly what i'm going to do uh, sorry about the shadows today the weather in the uk is very dull and dark so we are getting an awful lot of um, dark days dark weather and our clocks have gone back an hour already so it means that like whatever time it is now it's really a, a this time last week would have been an hour later so it's getting dark earlier as well but uh, yeah I'm quite impressed with that nice for £2.99 a little set and I'll either do it myself or gift it to somebody to do okay so pop that all comes in a nice little box as well get rid of the little crinkly bag onto the other little package that came through the letterbox today and this is a real bit of fun um, as you know, if you've been following my channel, I am actually doing Gnome Fember, which is run by uh, Mindy, Mindy's Damn Moment, and Angie Craftnado. Um, I'll leave the links to their uh, YouTube channels down below. And I think they are just doing this on Instagram, though. You've got to, to join in with the challenge to be in with the chance of some prizes. You need to be on Instagram as well. But if you go to their pages, they have done videos explaining all about it. So I'm taking part in that. And this oops, is just another little item that I might have bought just to uh, do as a little extra. And they are, ooh, a bit sticky. Sticky gnomes. So we have a little green one. Ooh, in fact, they're very sticky. A little red one. Ooh, a one red one with a pointy hat. And then two with droopy hats. Oh, these are really sticky. Look, not keen on that. Okay, and I got them from Amazon. And they were by the Heng Jew store. I have used those before, um, if you've been following me for a while. Uh, we've got ooh, a tool kit, which has... Oh, look, these keychains look good. Nice, heavy quality, to be honest. Let's get these out got your wax your pen your wax your pen and your boat <laughs> you can say them in the right order Louis. okay so enough to do your project you've got one two three four five little lobster claw clasps which these are really nice and heavy and they're a good big size as well so they're always easiest to do okay and then one, two, three, four, five little chains. So all ready there to make your key rings. Okay, so I'll just get these put back into the bag so I don't lose them. I'm quite clumsy, so I don't want to be knocking those off the desk and losing them. And then we have all five gnomes. I'm a little bit disappointed that they're very sticky. Have they not got plastic on? Oh, I don't know whether that's got plastic on or not. Let me see. Oh, no, it has. So I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, it has got the plastic on both sides. Let me check. Or has that one not got? Oh, yeah, it has. So, yeah, we have got the plastic on both sides. It's just very, very sticky. Okay, so we've got this little chap that uh, has like a, a little bow, has he? Oh, no, he's got two candy canes, sorry. And uh, they're tied together with a bow in the middle. So that's uh, key ring number one. And you've got your hole drilled at the top there. You could just see it, quite a bit of burning on this side. I don't know if you can see these black marks just along here. That's where the laser cut. And sometimes if the laser stays too long on an edge, um, it will 
uh, burn it and it looks as though to be honest they've not quite got this one right because it's very very close to this edge but we've got a lot of acrylic on this edge so that's not the best quality to be fair okay so let's have a look at the next one maybe it's just that one that's like that uh, did I tell you these were £10.94 so what's that about £2.20 each so not too bad they are double sided as well so you do wear diamond paint both sides I'm just going to check the acrylic cover on these as well make sure because there's definitely sticky come off one of them so he's the only one with the green hat and he's carrying like a, a little wreath I just love the way his little feet are sticking out that's really sweet okay and then this one is one with a squiggly red hat looks a bit like a Christmas tree and he's carrying a wreath as well uh, let me just check yep yeah, got that on that side these really are sticky uh, that one's not quite the top there is that one not oh yeah no it is that's fine yeah as long as the stick is covered over mind you i've got my magic glue so i'm okay but that one's cut you see that one and that one are cut a lot better they're more in the middle so that the edging is quite even whereas i say the first one that i looked at he's got a very very big edging on this side okay then we've got um one that's got little black feet and uh, is carrying a little present a little sack okay so yeah we've got the cover on that side and the cover on that side okay I wonder if that's a lady it looks a bit sort of like taller and thinner maybe it's just because of the bag in the middle it makes her look you know like one of those illusion <laughs> dresses okay just me never, never mind and then finally oh look at that one what's he carrying not quite sure what that is is that a present might be a present let's just check this uh, cover again oops yeah it's got the cover on both sides of it i can only think that it must have been hot or something when they've put them together and the glue squidged out the sides because it's really really tacky and sticky yeah look you can see the sticking to my desk can't move them along they're not this one's sliding look what that one's really got a lot of sticky on him oh i can't pick him up now <laughs> okay put him back down that way so let's have a look at the drills so it looks like these are all your sparkly gems oh so we've got some little teeny tiny teardrops there in green and some teeny tiny teardrops in red and silver ones and then some slightly larger green and red and your clear acrylics and some gold and then like a nice gold in your standard size green real ruby red very pale pink oh lots of silver very sparkly and another red your standard uh, three tenji blacks there and then some blacks with the silver background I'm never quite sure why they do that um because to me this isn't sparkly it's only the back that's got a silver backing so i'm not quite sure why they do it that way around but hey ho to me that the black and the blacks with a silver background just look exactly the same if you know a difference let me know <laughs> okay so we've got a set of five little gnomes there which will be done for gnome member and their little key rings and then we've got our set of bauble stickers Oops. which is your three little baubles and your three stickers okay so just a quick video today just to show you a couple of little packages that popped through the letterbox this morning uh, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me a thumbs up would be much appreciated and if you want to come back and see these completed and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in the corner and the little bell next to it you'll be notified when my next videos come up so thanks for stopping by hope to see you all again soon bye for now